great day. Good morning, y'all. Great day. How y'all doing? I hope y'all have an amazing day. Hello. Hello. I appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing day. Y'all, I'm doing energy reading. And the message I heard this morning was on incubus and succubus energies. Okay. All right. Because I don't know why spirit want me to do this. I was going to go outside. But when I went outside and I set up my stuff outside, it started pouring down rain. And so I had to come back in. Okay. Let me get the water out of my glass. Come back with but I hope y'all have an amazing day. I hope y'all have an amazing day, y'all. I am Latoya Coleman, and welcome in. I am a prophetess, and I'll be using these to commit my cards for illustration purposes only. I'm going to do mostly talking. I'm going to try to play with these little me my cards, but I don't know because it's not moving me today. But I hope y'all have an amazing day. Talk the screen and show my video. I am a prophetess, y'all, for real. Take a reason that. And I'm a seer, really. I don't, I don't even like titles, to be honest with you. I do have a website, oraclejourney.com. All right. But I feel like somebody is battling some type of incubus um, demon, y'all. Incubus or succubus demon. And that was the first thing I seen when I woke up this morning. It was a video where this woman was talking about how she used to be a prostitute. And she used to have, you know, relation with a lot of people. But when she went to church, she started going to church or something like that. But she said every night she had to battle with the incubus and uh, energies uh pulling on her having sex with her in her dreams all right and then that took me down a rabbit hole early in the morning i was like really spirit y'all want to talk about incubus and succubus and whichever one whichever one but i feel like somebody is battling a case of incubus and succubus energy okay somebody having some type of night terrors um something keep trying to sleep with them while the spirit spouse is what they called it spirit spouse somebody has this like spirit spouse but it's really a low vibrational energy that's coming in to um i don't know it keeps sucking this person dry is what i'm hearing and i kind of feel like though somebody sent this energy to somebody and it's like they having a terrible case of it. it's kind of like an infestation in their life and they don't know what to do they do not know what to do. And I feel like this person battled this thing every night or every so often. You know what I'm saying? It's more regular. They probably have sex with the demons than more than they have sex with people. Or either they have to feed that spirit. Uh, y'all, if y'all see somebody around here who cannot control their sexual urges and they doing a lot of things that's going against them, they're battling them demons on them. Uh, and it's, it's, it's hard. I heard it's hard for this person. Uh, especially with reality. I feel like this person be trying to feed it because it keeps trying to pull on them, like keep having relations with them or something like that. Violating them is what I'm hearing. So table resonate and I always leave the rest. I, I heard this is, is beyond, beyond the, the what we can comprehend. You know what I'm saying? But somebody's being tempted by the low vibrational energy. And it was because somebody sent it to him. I keep getting the feeling that somebody sent something to another person to uh, block them or distract them. They intentionally sent some type of incubus and succubus energy to another person. All right. And I feel like they press keep battling these demons all the time. And if they going out having sex with other people and they wondering like, dang, it was just like a high, like a drug. Somebody needs to feed it. It has to be fed. And it's a it, y'all. It's a it. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I appreciate y'all for tapping the screen. I appreciate y'all for tapping the screen. Somebody had some type of uh, enemy, okay? They might have made an enemy with somebody or something to that nature. But whoever this is that doing this little spell, where magic work, trying to get this person stuck or something like that. It is really, um, I heard it's taking control or whatever. Something is taking control over somebody about it. Um, maybe somebody tried to walk away from another person and they got mad. All right. They got mad because they did not want this person to walk away from them. So they sent something to them. Or maybe this person cheated or was a cheater or something like that. Somebody might was a cheater or something like that. Take a resonate and I always leave the risk. But I feel like the old whoever this is that did not want them to move on, they got volatile. They got mad. They got in their feelings. So they start working the arts. I heard the arts, dark arts, okay? Somebody got an infestation in their house, in their body, in their spirit. Something is infesting somebody. It's coming in legions is what I heard. It's a group of... Table resonate and I always leave the rest. 
And I feel like the way the more this person keep doing it, the more I don't know if it's pushing them back or something. Uh, maybe somebody break mama or something to that nature, pushing them to see like a call on the most high God or something like that. Pushing them to see what's really going on in their life. Cause they at night it gets worse. It gets worse. At night, somebody can't sleep. It's a lot of dark entities that is surrounding this person. It's a legion of them bitches, okay? And I feel like you see that little white bird right there is trying to help this person, but they can't hear because of what that do. Okay, the low vibrational energy is louder than, you know how when they say people, when people ask how can you hear God? God is a, like, a, he sound like you. He sound like you. He sounds just like you talking to you. And why you got to be able to distinguish between when you talk to that low vibrational energy and when God talking to you and when you're still talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's signs the same. But it's the feeling, though. Because if it's low vibrational, it's not going to, you know, you're going to feel uneasy um, around its presence, Okay. And somebody trying to pray to God and they feel like God ain't, ain't hearing them, trying to say it on they battle this too much. It's, it's too much. They don't went, uh, I don't know if somebody went to priest or church or something like that. They went to church and they ain't got no help. Ain't nothing is helping this person, okay? I heard cast. Somebody's casting. Something about casting, casting it into swines, whatever that Bible verse is, y'all. Take a resonate and always leave the rest. Good morning. I hope you have an amazing day. I appreciate you, Tammy. I appreciate you, Miss Betty. I hope y'all have an amazing day. They entertain that mess. And you know I've been hearing that too. They say you open up a portal. But you know what? Sometimes people just send that shit to you. Sometimes people can send it to you. Sometimes it can be generational. It can be passed down from generation to generation. And this person, you know, when I say spirit, we looking at people by the flesh. You need to stop looking at people by the flesh all the time. Okay, because some of this shit could be generational. All right, some of these could be in something that happened to them when they was a small child. They could have been great as a child. You know what I'm saying? They could have had somebody touching them and, and all this stuff when they was kids. So it, it just traveled along with them as they got an adult. Okay, it ain't all about people entertaining it because some of this shit can happen when you don't voluntarily to jump into it. Okay, it's involuntary. Okay. Some people can put it on you. It could come from your family. It could be in your family. You know, all this person can open up the door and invite it in, you know. But if you're dealing with a lot of people, you going around having all these relations with a lot of people and then, and I, you know, I'm kind of different and different on um, the when you go to sleep and they keep saying like um with with the spirit spots come through and have a relation with you i can't say it is that way all the time because i know a lot of people put fear into a lot of people but i feel like when this person cannot control when they getting scared when they scared to go to sleep when they scared to even you know they feel so vulnerable while they sleep and they know something gonna touch them that's them them them, them demons coming in okay having relationships with you okay and I'm talking about you really having a relationship with this thing, okay? Like, for real. You can feel it. And then, they showed me a video this morning of Tiffany Haddish. And she was talking about her her um spirit husband. She, he come in her dreams. He ain't got no face. But he talked to her. That's what she said. She called him husband. You know, it's very common. They better call on the Holy Ghost. A lot of people can. And it was crazy because when I saw that video that morning, one woman said she she went to church and all and prayed to God and all, you know, and still battled that. And she been battling for years. You know, a lot of people don't know how to call on the Holy Ghost. A lot of people don't know how to call on God. A lot of people can go to churches and them churches ain't got no anointing in them. Okay. So they cannot read people or things that, you know, you know, I heard this morning spirit was like, how can anybody try to teach or, or, or say something about, a, you know, you know how when people be teaching shit and they, they like, you ain't been through it. How can you teach somebody how to get up out of something if you ain't been through it? it? The only thing they did was read it in a book. And I kind of feel like that's it. When you go into people, you, because they got a title and all that, they read all that stuff in that book, but they ain't never been through nothing like that. So they cannot really teach you how to get up out of their energy so even if somebody try to resort to going to the church they got to be particular on the church they're going through to not because not all these pastors is pastors they ain't pastoring 
not all these bishops is bishoping and not all these healers are healing okay but whoever they see that battle in, baby, I'm talking about somebody gonna have to really get something because it's some tie. Okay, I feel like somebody tied a person, bound somebody down. They this is art. This is dark magic. They keep talking about spell word. They keep saying dark magic. Maybe the person don't even they they trying to figure out what's really going on. But they got somebody on the outside working against them, trying to, you know, invite in them demons, okay? And that's why you need to learn who you are. Stand up in who you are. That way you can be able to call on things that is trying to um call on the most high. Shit. And even when people balance like that, they know how to call and tell whoever them low vibrational energies to get the behind them, them demonic energies. All right. You got you got dominion over all that. All right. But this person don't. They they don't they battling too much. They keep having night terrors, night sweats, all that shit. Waking up screaming, shaking in their sleep. Um, probably can't even get no sleep. Insomnia, insomnia or something to that nature. It's something happening in their life. And they feel like ain't nobody hearing them. Ain't nobody listening to them. Ain't nobody understanding them. Like, where is these spirits, these dreams, these night terrors? Why is something feeling on me while I don't goddamn sleep? And I know ghosts can do that too. I know ghosts can do that too because I had one in my house once before. He was touching all on me. But I'm talking about these demons though. Okay? That really violates you while you sleep. About to go to sleep. Cause I don't even know if this person you can't even go to sleep or something to that nature. I don't know. They stay up a lot or something like that. They can't even focus. Something to do with Page of Swords, y'all. Pay out the page energy. I got a page of one, page of swords, and a page of pentacles, okay? I don't know if this person's trying to go do some type of research or something like that. They're trying to figure out where this shit coming from. How can they combat it is what I heard. How can they fight it? How can they fight it? I don't even know if this person know what, look, what direction, you know, because a lot of people, they, they be trying to instill fear. I don't even care. You do go to the church. You know, church have cricket people in it too. So this is right here is somebody standing in their power and then learning how to call on God, calling on their higher self and trying to shield and protect themselves. But see, what you got to realize, the people that you sit in entertain, no people can be carrying no spirits on them too. And then when they come around you or you having relationships with these people, it will come on you because you dealing with somebody who battling the shit. Okay? Your demons want to attach to their demons. So now they're having a demon face is what I'm hearing. And then sometimes these people can get mad. They sit up here and send this stuff at you. They'll conjure up things like that and send it towards you. And if you don't know who you are, whose you are, you will never be able to fight these things. Okay? They will conquer you. And then they will leave you in a corner in a feeble position because you don't know how to overcome your demons. All right? And I heard they sending the big boys. It's the big boys. Sir. Okay? Take what resonates. And I always eat the rest. That's why I'm solo dolo. I could be the people around them. So the energy is That's why I don't go around nobody. That's exactly why I don't go around nobody. Hey, Shay. I hope you have an amazing day. For real. That's why I don't like going around nobody. Because you don't never know what these people be holding on and on. I used to. I used to. And then I figured out I was up here battling a lot of people. Low vibration and energy. I ain't doing that shit no more. I appreciate you. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not nobody there if i feel the feeling is off i'm gone i'm gone i don't waste no time people used to look at me like i'm crazy when i used to shoot up out of there no man I, my spirit telling me i gotta go too much it's too much infestation in here when all them people grouping together and all them got all the, 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 the demonic attachments on them okay no no i used to do that shit and battle them bitches too i ain't finna do that no more not i said latoya not i not i okay but i feel like though somebody needs some spiritual help i heard spiritual counseling y'all i do got my website i got 10 minutes um consultation so y'all can know what direction y'all need to go it's on my website oraclejourney.com okay 10 minutes free okay don't come up no waste my time either take a resonate and i always leave the rest because you can get dismissed too okay thanks
All right. But I feel like those somebody needs some type of guidance, spiritual guidance, spiritual healing. People be talking about these little took me elmo calls and talking about spiritual people, but then they go to the church. They be like, if I need anything, how I'd rather go to the church. You know, sometimes the church can be just as empty as your, your ass was when you walked in there. Okay, that means no Holy Ghost is in there, no spirit is in there, none. God is nothing but spirit. That's why a lot of people do tap into their spiritual side. They go to spiritual healers because that issue you dealing with can be in the spirit. It's not nothing about your, your flesh. It's not anything dealing with your flesh. It's your motherfucking spirit. Okay, you go to the church and get your, your whatever you need to get, but you need your spirit clean too. You need your spirit clean too. Somebody feel like they so isolated. Okay, nobody understands what I'm going through. Maybe they're trying to talk to somebody, tell somebody what they're going through, and people keep ridiculing, laughing at them, or some shit like that. Okay, isolation, powerless. They feel like they have no power. They unhappy. They sad. They don't know how to do. They don't know what to believe in no more. They restricted. Okay, then I say, okay, I don't go to church. I go to God fast. Fast. That's that spiritual connection, that Christ like consciousness. You got a connection straight to the most high God. My church is in my home. Cause when God, when it's time for me and God to come in, we gonna talk. I talk to God all the time. I don't gotta go to no pastor to talk to no go not to God. Cause just like the pastor so called talk to God, I can too. We he a man just like I am. Man made. I'm I'm human. I'm human. Whatever you wanna call. I am flesh, just like he is. Okay. If he got the power to step in and talk to God, so do I. And I do. I make, I make it known, babe. I make it known. It, it ain't just because they go to a church. It's going to run the church. Church ain't going to sell you all the time, poo. And why a lot of church people go to spiritual people, even the pastors. Y'all be thinking these pastors don't be going to these spiritual people. Why you think things happen in their church the way they do? Some old boy and they get people to pray over their church. The pastors go to spiritual people to get people to pray over their church so they can bring in members so they can get these people lost too. Okay. Okay, and I just, hello, hello, TikTok Tucker. Straight talk, talk straight to the source. I know, face, face, that antenna, baby. That antenna, okay. Divine, baby, straight talk to him, baby. All the way, all the way to the other side, too. That's why you tap in. That Christ like consciousness is nothing but a stream from you to the most high God, baby. And, and whoever else on the other side, because, baby, I talk to him all. Okay, all of them. Okay, if somebody need to have some cast out of their ass. They need an exorcism for real. And I ain't trying to be funny, but it's just, I feel like somebody need an exorcism. <sighs> Something to help them overcome these demons that they battling that somebody sent to them they keep saying somebody sent what is this spirit somebody sent something to another person they can't they can't get no sleep they can't do nothing they they paranoid all this shit they stuck in delusions and now they cannot fucking move okay and they need people want this person like whoever this is that they, they, they try this maybe they working with somebody to another a dark high priestess or something like that y'all a dark high priestess. I heard something about dark matter, whatever that's supposed to mean. Take what resonate and I always leave the rest. Like this person be crying out. Um, um. Take what resonate. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I appreciate y'all. I hope all 37 y'all following me. <laughs> I hope all 37 of y'all are following me. Somebody trying to be inspirational about them overcome. Why is all these three of swords in reverse, y'all? <clears throat> Maybe this person um talk negative or this energy be talking negatively to this person. And it's like this person is trying. I don't know. Maybe somebody get up and pray. But you got to know how to pray. You got to know how to pray. You got to know how to feel it. Because the power of prayer is nothing but you being in that feeling, in that energy, in that moment, at that time. You speaking your words. You're in alignment with the most high. You're in that Christ-like consciousness then. Okay, when you're taking, when you doing prayer work. All right. Some people just go out and pray and don't know how to pray. You know, a lot of people don't know how to pray. I, I've had plenty of people ask me, how do you pray? How do you pray? It's more than just saying words. You got to be in that feeling. Okay, you got to be in that knowing. Okay, you got to feel that power, you know, because when God comes through, you're going to feel it. Okay, you're going to feel it. It'll come and engulf you and make you have this this warm feeling, presence. Okay, everything going to be okay. You know that feeling. Okay, somebody's trying to pray and ask the Most High God for something, but they don't know how to pray. 
they don't they don't know how to pray they kind of feel like their prayers is not working somebody prayers is not working something is unfair to this person it's a snake they they deal with somebody who put who sent them energy them demons towards them and then the people this person whoever did it is still sitting around the person they still sit around that person. And it's kind of crazy, though, because that person be talking about how those things be messing with them at night. And the person that did it is sitting right there listening to them. The person that did it is sitting close to them, listening to them talk about the incubus or succubus energy that attacks them. But that person is who did it. Who sent it to them is what I'm hearing. It's somebody close in their family, y'all. I don't know. It's a dark high priestess or somebody who claimed that they go to church. All right, somebody might be one of them, them Bible thumpers, but they'll pretend them. You know, they pretend like they are out with God type shit. They don't. They they pull up demons, you know. You got to be careful who you pull demons up against because some people um know how to, you know, God gave us the power to command them bitches out the way too. Okay, just like they say Jesus did it. He cast it out. He was our brother. He's, he was showing people in the story. Okay, because we're going to go on the story. We ain't going to get all caught up on what he looked like and all this shit and what his name is and all this shit. It's just a story. Okay, so him and how he got them, cast them, got them, the demons out. And they was like, no, send me to hell. Send me somewhere, but don't take me back. Okay, this person don't have that faith in them to, to believe and know that they can cast whatever out. That doesn't serve on y'all. I'm about to throw up. I can't do this. His mother pray in spirit and in true facts. Yo, somebody got to pray in spirit. They fighting spirit with spirit. This spirit being their ass though. This, this, that energy that, that coming toward them, they can beat up. The light and dark ride with me, period. Because that's who you are. We balanced like that. Okay? When they keep talking about it and everybody can take what they resonate and, you know, I always leave the rest however you believe. It's however you believe. Stick with it. Okay? If it's working with you, if it's working for you, let it work. But you know how they say, it was dark when God said, let there be light. It when it, let there be light. There would be no light without darkness. That's why we are balanced. We all have our low vibrational energy. We are all one. And God is one with everything. That means he got that low vibrational energy in him too. Okay? Them, them, them low vibrational energy we are one connected that means you do we people that sit up and say that they'll try to say we win but then they want to take away that dark energy that's in us okay it just you know you got the power over them tell them bitches to sit the fuck down and they'll go sit down okay and if you want to call on your angels your angels just gonna be right there too and if you have to tell them sit down they're gonna sit down we got dominion okay okay but when people don't see the power within them, how do they know what they can and cannot get rid of? Okay, I got to go to Pastor. Okay, Pastor? Pastor. Okay. They might do feel like they got to go to Pastor. I don't know. Pastor might can't help them. Not, not, not the help that they need. Okay? Not the help they need. All right? Even though Pastor be talking about it at church. They don't mean pastor no pastor no y'all ever seen no video of them, them people or even um when people go and get exorcism and, and the pastor run away from them okay but they got their truth teaching uh over the congregation telling the congregation what power they got but then the pastor run away from them when they got something in their home oh i can't go there i can't go there but you you working for god though okay okay and you working for God, though. Okay, the priest won't even come to your goddamn house, okay? Because they, they don't believe what they be teaching. They don't believe what they motherfucking teaching. And all this energy, so it is what it is. Somebody's being, they, 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 whatever this energy is, is having some type of confusion, confusing them, all right? It's too much on this person. I heard too much that they, they, they can't bear it. They cannot bear it, okay? All this mess that they're dealing with, and it's, uh, they was dealing with a concubine or something like that. I don't know why they said it, but somebody was dealing with somebody who, who, who had it on them or who have it on them. Or they know how to conjure these things up, okay? They conjure these things up, okay? They're hurt. Mm. Take what resonate and I always lead the rest. I don't even know how to help them spirit because baby, who, who, this person going through all this shit too. It's like, first of all, they need to cleanse their circle. 
because they got a lot of vindictive people around them that want to see them fall. But this person is, they so trusting, so gullible. They so naive on who the fuck is doing this to them. And it's right up under their nose is around here. Somebody's right up under another person's nose and they watching this person fall. Okay. They intentionally want to watch this person fall. I don't know if this person was dealing with these people. Uh, somebody was in a relationship with somebody was cheating or something like that. But I kind of got a feeling that uh, uh, it's spiteful. Somebody got, you know, they. Mm, I heard they can't let go. So for the ones who was dealing with this person, like sexually, they got mad because they don't want to let the person go, but the person hurt them. So they're trying to be vindictive, trying to play them some type of way. spiteful. I know, spirit. I know, right? I know, right? I know, right? I don't know. Table resonate. And I always lead Reese. I always lead Reese. Miss Lyman of Value. Okay. This person sat up here and maybe then across the wrong person. It's secretly. It's a secret witch. Okay. It's a secret witch, but you can't even tell. Y'all, it's so crazy. Yesterday, I shared a video. Uh, it came on that the witches are in the church. Excuse me, but they keep talking about the church for some reason. I don't know. Maybe the person go to church. Maybe the person go to church and pretend they're trying to cover who they really are. All right. But this girl, that woman was talking about how she was a younger girl and she, her daddy was a pastor in a church. And this woman, something about this woman and her mama. Her mama, the pastor was dating her mama, married to her mama, and the, the congregation did not like the mother. They tried to call the mother a witch. So the congregation, somebody in his congregation, whoever that was calling the mother a witch was really the witch. And then they put some in the food and the daughter ate the food and she was paralyzed for at least uh, two months, I think she said. The doctors didn't even know what was wrong with her, but they had to put that stuff in the, this girl food. And I, I kind of feel like somebody in the motherfucking church, they claim, they banish, they, they'll, they'll sit up here and ridicule witches, but they're a fucking witch. Take what resonate and I always eat the rest. I hope y'all have an amazing day. They good or bad, and I haven't studied it yet. But people who do dark match, I mean, we got good and bad and all. Everything that we, we motherfucking do, we got good police, we got bad police, we got good lawyers, we got bad lawyers. We got good witches, we got bad witches. We got good high priestess, we got bad high priestess. We got good pastors, we got bad pastors. We got good doctors, we got bad doctors. We got good people, we got bad people. That's just period. There's no good without bad. That's the balance. But people be wanting to distinguish, separate the two for what? The same people that be wanting to separate be the ones that be on the other side and not the side that they claim they rock with all the time. They good. It's good versus evil, okay? You'll never know somebody unless you cross somebody. You piss them out. You're going to see the true colors within them. And I feel like that's something this person had to go through. They pissed somebody out. And I feel like they pissed out the wrong one. And this person sitting up here going through all this shit because of somebody got some type of grudge against them. Okay. And they mad. So they created this type of trickery. But they keep a smile on their face to cover up who the fuck they is to this person. You know. Somebody tried to say justice in their wrong in their own hand, but it was in the wrong hands. You know, I appreciate you. It was in the wrong hands. It was in the wrong hand. And then you know what? When you go through stuff like that, it's nothing but spiritual enlightenment. All right, cause when you come up out of this shit, your ass will never be the same. You will never be the same. You you I stood in front of the devil. I know he real. And that's how this person gonna feel. Cause you know, I know I I, I hear you. Who? When they say we got a low vibrational energy too, people can sleep all they want to. They can pretend all they want to. The pastors don't be talking about the devil as much as they should because, baby, he is abundant. But you know what's crazy? How the low vibrational energy is out here so abundant. How the, how the gov is sitting up here talking about it more and more now. More and more. Okay? Now they talking about these black-eyed people now. Okay? Because the shit was big been out here. Okay, when you go to church, I don't be talking about that that much. These pastors be talking about all this love and that. Yeah, it's a lot when it comes to special most our God. And then they be talking about we don't be knowing nothing. We really don't. We be scratching the surface. But when you drive, when you can, are you capable to tap in a little bit deeper? Y'all going to really be seeing the truth. How do you people be keeping y'all slow and stuck? Mm, but they put it in front of your face, though. It's on you whether you want to see it or not. And we are all gods and goddesses. 
We are our God said that we are like him. We are one. We are one. And we all got the power to create that dark and the light. Everybody got power within them. No other person is stronger than the other. We are equal. Okay? Equal. But people can't see that equality within them because they are weakened. They're afraid. They're not taught who they are. They don't have no confidence within themselves. So, yeah, when people come around you, they want to put that dark magic and all this, send this negativity towards you. Yeah, you're going to get hit because you don't know who you are. You ain't even tapped into go. You ain't got that Christ-like consciousness. You're not, you're, you're not, you know, I'm not God. Ain't nobody saying you're God Almighty. We are his kids, okay? They're just like, I got kids, okay? They are part of me, all right? They're children. They're humans. They got that title. Just like we're gods and goddesses because God is our father. All right. Just like with the low vibrational energy. What he say? God is his father too. So he got to listen too. All right. But you know, take a resonate. And I always leave the rest because I know a lot of people be want to take because they don't be knowing shit. But you know, that's on them. But till you open your eyes and see the truth, then you will know where your power will come from. All right. Your source your most high God. I mean, science has not proven that God is not real. God is in everything. They cannot, they cannot disprove. They cannot. They cannot tell you why the grass is growing. Like they cannot tell you why we came from little bitty seeds and and this big ass person. I my body grow the way my body grow. They cannot tell you why skin and stuff like bones grow as you grow. They cannot tell you the life forms and why. No. We don't know shit, but when you get the chance to even tap in to know some things, you better learn and take off and grow from there because this shit get deep. It's like they keep saying intricate web, okay? It's like the dark web shit. It's just so much things you can learn out here. You better choose to learn. But somebody's out here wishing that they had or they know how, they wish they knew how to get this stuff out them, but they don't. And who can they run to? Who can they run to to protect them, okay? To shield them and protect them from the whatever else that's trying to stop them, okay? Somebody is trying to stop another person, okay? And that person got to claim their power back. Somebody got to claim their power back. But then again, that's just like me speaking foreign to somebody who don't even know they got power within them, okay? They ain't got no power right now. Lost. Um, lack of sensation, powerless. They they feel like they ain't got no power. That's why they're battling these demons like that. No. Um, Lily. No. With me and Duke reconcile. Um, somewhere around September. Yeah, I'm good. Hard to get caught up in some mess. I know, right? I know. Get caught up in a lot of shit. Get caught up, get fucked up. That's what they getting did. Missed out the way up. That's why it's good to ask God to reveal your foes. Please let me know who's going against me, God. Cause show me I'm ready and I'm ready. And when you ready, God gonna show you exactly who your foes is, baby. And then you gonna be like, oh, you the one was doing that shit to me. You should mind cutting them bitches out. Then you can't really go around and thank everybody your damn friend. I don't even care if y'all was naive as kids and grow up as kids. But otherwise, sometimes people show their true color. They was around you for some reason. And it don't be the reason that you think. Uh, yeah. Latoya. Yeah. Uh, Latoya. Um, they say, oh, is Neil happy with Ruby? Yup. Facts. Okay. But yeah. And though, I feel like if this person can get some type of protection or something like that, they keep saying something about holy oil. Y'all do know y'all holy oil is coming from inside your body. Okay. Some people can use that holy oil that's coming within you. That's that energy. Because that's all it is. It's nothing but energy that, that fills you. That's it's coming from within. Okay, you're going to feel it because it's going to make you feel it some warm and, and, and it vibrates past what y'all think it do. The, the holy oil and uh, the, the anointing is what God kept telling me. The anointing. It's the anointing that you have within you. Somebody feel like they ain't got it. 
All right, you know how people go out and get all this holy oil. They thinking holy oil on the outside of them. Holy oil is coming from the inside, and they speak about that a lot. I don't know why people think because they go get this olive oil, but I mean, it's just a tool. Just like he took me and my clothes, it's nothing but tools. If y'all feel like y'all got to pray over some oil, when y'all got to do a prayer, why you just praying over oil? When the, it's your prayer, baby. It's your prayer. And then when people go out and get the, the oils from the other pastor, oh, the pastor, I know pastor know how to pray prayer. I'm going to give me some oil from pastor. Baby, it's only a tool. Just like people walk around with that cross on them, it's nothing but a tool to remind you who your most high God is and where your power comes from. That's it. And that's all. That's why people use took me ammo card. That's why people walk around with a call cross, the unk, or whatever else they want to walk around. Stones. It's so crazy, y'all. That's how I know it ain't nothing but a tool. People walk around with rocks. And they swear that rock is a blessed rock. And to them it is. Okay, the belief, the power that they put in that rock, and it is, is very powerful to them. Okay, a reminder. That's all it is, a reminder of where that power coming from. People be praying, oh, oh I got to give me some, man, oh, from pastor. You can pray over your own shit. You can walk through your house and pray over your own house. I was talking about it yesterday about cleansing your house. Y'all, when y'all be having these people around y'all and these people don't, that's why they say be careful coming in your home. Your home and your home and your home, okay? Be careful who you let in your home, all right? And if you need cleanse and cleanse that shit, cleanse your whole house and go pray over your house. That way you can get rid of the things that don't supposed to be in there that lurks at the night, in the night. Cause these people, when you can't see some shit, you get so scared. It ain't real. It ain't real. Yes, the fuck it is. Right there in your face. How it's not real. Okay? You see them them things over there moving. Your cup moving by itself. You see some just through something through something in your house. Across the room. When you go to sleep, something be touching you. It's real, poo. It's real. You in the spiritual warfare and your friends and your family and whoever this is that close to you is doing it to you, okay? Cleanse your motherfucking eyes. Cleanse your spirit and cleanse you. Because, you know, sometimes people be having these, like, dirty homes and they be having all this energy coming up and coming around them. They be like, where the hell is this coming from? The people, and then you let these people come in and they be dropping shit. And it's so crazy, y'all. I seen a video yesterday with this Indian lady. She was going, she had blood or something in her own bag but she went to somebody's house and went to sprinkle it down real quick trying to trap somebody y'all better clean y'all motherfucking home and stop being so trusting of these people that come over there because they trying to pretend like they're your friend and get the dropping demons out you want to never know what somebody's intention is when they come around you they might say that they are your friend but they don't be your motherfucking friend they don't be your friend at all okay especially how many folks we want to see you fall okay and then the people that come around swear they got your best interest be the one the, the main one that hope you fall ill the whole something happen to you the one that working all this energy against you say what resonate and i always leave the rest i appreciate y'all no one comes to my home that's how i had it i was mad when the people had to come here and fix my home but i know they had to I do not let nobody in my house no more. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't trust it. Because I seen a video. I appreciate you. I seen a video too not too long ago. That woman, she went outside. And a root person put something in her yard. And it was crazy. I know this shit is real. I know it's real. I know root workers do stuff like that. I know some dark root workers, baby. They want their money. Okay. And they get, they make their money too. And they got power to do what they say they're going to do. They'll come drop some shit off in your yard. And then you wonder why your house is still breaking out your mind. Breaking out. Because they're going to break you down first. They want you to be in fear. That's the only way it can work. They got to scare you, okay? And if you're not scared, then it's not going to work, okay? But if you scared, it's going to break you all the way down. Everything that they seem to destroy you will destroy you. You hear me? But I kept the fly and removed myself from there. I know that's real. Hold on, let me go back. It's like, why do you want to be hanging in my home? Fast. That's it. Why? You'll never know. Period. And they damn sure ain't going to tell you. Because I have to be jealous of you. I was at my parents before walking in. The fly tried to fly in my mouth. I know you. I know you lying. Baby, don't think because it was in my house the other day. I'm like, where the fuck you came from, pal? Just out the blue. 
just south of the blue. But I seen a video too, not too long ago. It was like a couple months ago. The girl, um, she was dating this guy. And this guy had a baby mama. And the baby mama, she was a witch, y'all. She she was a witch, okay? She she was a witch, okay? And she got mad because the new girl, she didn't want the new girl to be around her baby dad. So she started up here and tried to put some spell work on that girl. And the girl said she was taking a shower. And when she was taking a shower, a fly just appeared out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. Like, literally, it was on the wall, and it looked like it just started forming on the wall, okay? It formed on the wall, but somehow, the way she, since she knew who she was, she learned how to send that shit back toward that girl, and whatever that girl was trying to put on her, hit, hit the baby mama, and the baby mama fell sick. She went crazy, because that's how she was trying to make the, the girlfriend go, and she said, once she figured out that the baby mama was doing that, she loved baby, the, the, her baby dad. She loved that dude. Because he had stuff around. You don't never know what these people be doing to y'all. In, 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 in the spirit, it's the hang around. I know. She went to my brother's house, flipped in the mirror so you can see your reflection. What? You know, a lot of people be scaling the mirrors because they know what they be doing. Watch out for them bitches who can't have no mirror in their home. Bye, but they be doing shit to the mirrors. They be doing mirror magic against other people. That's why they don't want mirrors in their home. Okay? I remember when I watched Skeleton King, I was like, they want me to I don't like mirrors. Y'all y'all remember that movie? Y'all y'all ever study why people don't like mirrors? Okay. Because you'll be the main motherfuckers. They know the power in what they do. They know how they, when they send some things out, it can come back to you. They try to protect themselves because they know what they got him doing. Playing all these games in the spirit. And they know it will come back. The law of the land states was put out will come back. All right. That's why I be telling y'all with these practitioners, if they real, they'll tell you some stuff like that. Okay. They be trying to put spare work on people. They know it will come back to them. All right, they know they got to protect themselves, okay? If they're going to take your money, they got to protect themselves first, okay? They're going to have to co go commune with their spirits and ask their spirits, can they do work for you? And if they spirits tell them, no, don't fuck with that person, they're not going to mess with you. They're not going to take your money. They're not going to do no type of work for you because their spirits told them not to fuck with you, okay? And then these people be sitting up and doing all these people know what's going on. They're well aware when they be trying to do the root, root work on other people. They know the law of the land says it's going to come back. When you open up that door, if you open up that door to that energy, that low vibration of energy, it going to come back. So you got to protect yourself, okay? And a lot of these people that be so paranoid, they be, you know, the ones that put on shade, that be in camera, they don't want to have their eyes seen because they, they do root work. They so scared. They can't have, you know, that people use your eyes, okay, to put spell words and stuff. Child, these folks really be trying. They really be trying. They really be doing it, actually. They don't be trying. They be doing that shit, okay? Take what resonate. And I always be the rest, but you know, that's why they tell you, you gotta learn. Because some things can push you to tap into your most high. And going through spiritual battles can push you to tap into your most high. My mom is paranoid, can't trust nothing. That's why the strike came beginning of this year. I mean, they, cause they be paranoid for a reason. Then do your mom do magic? Have your mom did magic before? Had somebody do magic on her? Shit, I've seen it in the action. I've seen too many people have root work on them. All right, that's why I had. I knew it was something different about me. Okay, and I had to go study. You got to go learn. And then you sit and watch and be like, hold on, but God, they said our life's supposed to be like this. No, no baby, our life is so, it, they cannot even explain life, okay? What magic come from, why all the other stuff, how we can tap in the herbs, energy, everything is energy. It's so deep, okay? And the, depending on your power is how much you know. All right, that's how that's how that's where your power come from. If you don't know nothing, your ass is powerless. You stuck. You you just you you just nothing for real. But if you educate yourself, jump into that wisdom, jump into who spirit is, jump to who God is, jump to the energy. Period. Just the energy. Okay, then you could be able to attack things and rebel things. Y'all better tap into who y'all did. Did to a family or dad before he did time. Mm mm. Did it in wait, who are y'all on the Did it in her and my dad before he did time? I, I'm confused. But I cleared the room. My dad was gone for 20 plus years while I let them know and left it like that. She she puts very work on your dad. <laughs> Girl, is that what you're saying? <laughs> 
Green Rising. I hope you have an amazing day. I appreciate you. Irma, I appreciate you. Shit. Mm -mm. Mm. I know um, spirits like you open up that door. That door gonna be open. So you up here trying to pray against people. Them, them, them same demons that coming out there, pushing out, you pushing out other people can come back to you. It will come back to you. All right. And if you're not knowledgeable in this spirit realm, you out here doing things, people, it can come back to you. All right. Only the weak minded people let that shit happen to them. Grand rising. Grand rising. The person my dad off. Oh, wow. I done heard about court cases. And I done, I done you know. That's, the eggs. I ain't never heard of the eggs, though. I know you're going to get that courthouse dirt and stuff. Oh, the eggs is what made him go to prison. Shit. Shit. And when people be trying to pray, that's why I tap into my spirit team, baby. I, I, don't, I, I appreciate my motherfucking spirit team. I'm not finna let nobody tell me my spirit team ain't real because I know a bitch be trying to come up against me in the spirit. My spirit team is what's going to handle them. Okay, how these people be sitting up here trying to do all this extra stuff. These people will actually try to tamper with your your heart, your mind, your body to try to unalive you, your money, your car, your love life, even your dick. If you you know they wouldn't be sitting up here putting no spell words on these men to make they, they thing go down. They don't be one of these people. They and so selfish, bitch, cause your coochie dry. Okay? That's why they be trying to do all this extra shit. It's crazy.